It's a lifestyle clothing brand. The urban brand founded in 2009 by Ofente. What do kids like? Kids like ice lollies. And when they eat it sometimes, it falls down, it becomes a daddy lolly. That's how the name came about. <laughs> as a hobby, started off as a hobby as just friends printing t-shirts and then for ourselves, yeah. just for ourselves and then yeah. that grew into people started people wanting money. Yeah. and then business is demanding supplies. That's where the business aspects mainly to play. Yeah. Well, it, was, it was exciting firstly because we were, we were all very eager to actually let it happen because we were one of the first local brands to actually do that. To actually open a shop in a mall where we selling just our merchandise, you know? But, 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 we didn't start with a store. Yeah, we didn't start there. Yeah, it started, we, we gradually grew into what it is now. So we grew from from the food yeah, to... to like the different, to different stores to like opening, living a young store. <laughs> what you can expect is the brand, what the brand is about. But we actually want people to want the t-shirt and actually buy it out of wanting it, not out of us convincing them, you know? So that's that's basically what the shop is about. People walk into the shop, I think they walk out with a full understanding of the brand. As a brand. Yeah. yeah. Because like that's another reason why items are not sold in other retail stores, you know, so people can fully understand what the brand is about, understand the concept of the brand, how it's how it's raw, to say, and uh, yeah, just just to grasp the full concept of Dirty Lot. The main reason was that we do not want to put a face to the brand, you know. So when you put when you put an ambassador on a brand, you're already giving people a face to identify you. And you associate the, brand, you associate the kind of market he's working with as well. You know, the kind of market that he's going with, it, it's already giving people a certain image of the brand, which is not what we're trying to push, you know what I mean? It's a thing of... The brand is its own face. Yeah, the brand must have its own face, which is why 90% of the time, we push the brand ahead of ourselves. You know what I mean? Even on our own personal instance, all you see is the brand. Mm. You know? Which is that's what we all about. It's all about the brand. First and foremost, we compete with ourselves. You know, we challenge so, ourselves to And because everything we do is a new thing, we have to actually sell it to people. We have to sell it in the way we wear it, sell it in the sense that we actually have to sell it to you and tell you that, yo, this t-shirt would look good on you, you know? Like things like long tees, for example, you know? Things like long tees are things that we have to introduce to people, we have to get people comfortable with, you know? We have to, people, we have to get people slightly out of their comfort zones for them to be comfortable with the brand, you know what I mean? And those are the type of challenges we actually go through, because People always compare us to bigger brands, like with things like prices as well. Mm -hmm. You know, people will always compare us like, uh, why don't you guys have a sale like Acres does now? You know, in mind we just keep challenging ourselves, and we're our own competition. That makes us better every day. International, more stores, more, more stores, more availability, more availability, more knowledge of the brand. Yeah, because. Right now, not a lot of people know about the brand. You know? We want to see ourselves internationally available. The brand and doing other yeah. things other than clothing. Other than clothing, because that's the brand. Is which is also in the pipeline. Yeah. <laughs> the brand is not just clothing, which is why we're saying it's, it's a lifestyle brand. What I want to say to the youth is that they shouldn't they shouldn't want to do something based on the success of others or what they stand to gain behind doing something. You should just do something because it's 100% you and you're passionate about it. So if you feel it's right, then just take the next step and go on with it.